All right, we're gonna go over a series of moves from when you have a single hook in, like a, like a single rear hook in, try to take someone's back and you get it in deep, all right? I'm gonna go over the whole series of moves first uh, without really explaining too much just so you can see it in real time. So, as you can see, there's about four finishes there that can all come from that same position. Um, the way I'll just set it up in a generic way is just from an arm drag, but you might find yourself in this position from any different scenario. The most likely is this, so you're trying to take the back or you're behind someone, you can only get one hook in. You get one hook in, you get it deep, then you can make this work. Um, I really like using this just because the standard way of trying to get both hooks in and finish leads to a, a whole lot of uh, problems lots of times. And people are just really, really used to defending that in the turtle position, shaking you off from being behind them. And uh, I would really like to, to show this because it's, it's something that not a lot of people are used to defending in the same way. So let's say we take it from the arm drag scenario. All right. Take my arm drag, get my leg out. This leg goes deep. I'm looking for a deep hook here. And as I come up here and turn and face, my hand's gonna come over top of her hand. This is just what I use, what it, uh, it's a little technique that I use when I'm doing the arm drag. Just because if I don't, even if I try to stay close, she can get that arm back around. So if I hit the arm drag and I go hand over hand, or if she hits a forearm, hand over forearm to build up, that's a good place for me. Now I want two points of contact on the ground. One is my knee and the other is my, my toes over here. All right? That makes sure that I'm not here like this. I actually have a deep hook where my shin is starting to go across the calf. And now from here I build up to this position. This is like kind of my, my halfway position. This makes sure that if they're bucking and moving and doing all this stuff, I can kind of ride them. I can kind of shut them down here. I might even hook here for a second. What I'm not doing is just sitting on my butt and trying to pick this up. Because if I, if I just try to fall back doing that, she can get her arm around and cross face me. You can start causing all kinds of problems. And that's not obviously what I want to happen. So as I'm here, I'll build to this position, kind of control hip. When I've decided that I'm ready to go, uh, maybe I'll, I'll fake like I'm going for the choke. And, and start digging my, my forearm in there like I'm trying to choke just to see what the reaction is and they keep defending, then I'll turn to here, okay? Pushing off with the free foot, pushing off and rolling, okay? I'm not rolling towards her, I'm rolling away from her. So I'm tucking this shoulder, rolling towards the feet. Now from this position, both hands come right over the foot. I'm not trying to grab here because when the person is defending real well and they're kind of like, kicking their foot straight, this is gonna be a problem, all right? We don't want them to be able to straighten their leg because as they straighten their leg explosively and this is tied up in there, the knee can, can be in all, in all kinds of problems. I've actually got my knee blown out before because I didn't collect the foot properly and someone explosively straightened their leg out and I've done it to someone else in rolling, so it's a possibility. So I'm going over the foot then my foot does not figure four here. I'm not looking to figure four, I'm looking to put my foot on my own ankle. And so I'm pushing here, pushing my, my shin in, and pulling the foot down, okay? If you go for this and it's not working, or you go, you go for this and the angle gets a little messed up, now what's available? Banana split or splatal, whatever you wanna call it. I get here, I figure four, and I'm, what I'm doing with this, these legs is I'm putting my feet to the mat, but what I'm doing here is putting my feet to the mat and bridging, bridging while I pull this knee towards me. 
Real flexible people won't tap, like the people that can do the Van Damme splits, they won't tap. So that's fine. So from here, I could easily build by, by just tilting my hips. See, I roll my hips and I get myself right into the angle for what? Baseball bat grip on the hand, a tricep or elbow in the armpit. Work this underneath my head. So once I've got their arm underneath my neck and I press down here, I'm just gonna reach over, S grip is fine, and that same principle, guys, this bridge with my figure four, okay? Bridging as I crank, finish with that, or if I'm trying to go for this and this isn't working, and they sometimes they'll shoot their arm all the way through underneath your body and get it back, Bridge them over, go for the choke, okay? So that right there is a series with four different finishes from having a single hook in, single hook in deep. You can get it from arm drag or anywhere else.